today I am going to just tell you so taxes are done I have finished my taxes I thought I finished them a while ago but uh, yeah some numbers have changed I had to refile so uh, yeah I looked at my game store it is not making money uh, and historically it has out of every 12 months there might be four months it breaks even two months it's profitable those two months being super obvious, December and November holidays, right? I mean, it's really hard not to be profitable. And it's not unlike any other retail store is you really have to pump your December and your November numbers, especially December numbers, because that's going to help you through the rest of the year. Uh, last year, we tried to have an employee do the whole live stream thing. It did not work. Uh, but it was a very, very expensive experiment because we had to buy, um, not we had to buy, and, and again, I'm using we, even though it's I, right? It's just me deciding this stuff. Uh, we bought some printing equipment. We thought we would be printing play mats and t-shirts and hoodies, and there was this vision that we would be running a print store in the back, the physical back of the store. Um, and we bought the t-shirt pr press and all those things. There's like five of them, and it's screening, and. Now, I never really understood how it works, but uh, we do have that equipment. So again, depreciating equipment uh, for what that is worth. Uh, we had a, I wouldn't even call employee, it was more of like a partner because I offered her 20% of the company, 20% of the company, and I had to give her severance to go away, right? Because again, I don't want her to question, oh, I own this company either. No, no, I'm just gonna give you what you need. You sign the contract and you just go away. So that part was incredibly expensive. If, if we did not have the uh, issue of that in partner and we didn't have to lose that amount of money uh, in terms of the severance, I, I don't even know what to call it. It basically is here's some money, you know, you write in the check final, um, complete, you, you in the memo of the check, this is it. If you cast this check, we're done. So she cast the check, we done, right? That, that's what happened. Ooh, it's harder to run a store now than it's ever been. Uh, mainly, the, the main thing is the number of sets, the, it, it's, it's hard to imagine, because if you do Pokemon and, Ma if you do Pokemon Magic, you might do Yu-Gi-Oh, you might do One Piece, you might be, do trading cards, uh, sports trading cards. If you just do magic, it's still so much stuff that comes out and you never really know. I mean, yes, you can believe Commander Masters will be a good set long term, but you don't know that. You can believe that March of the Machines, you should order that much, but you don't know. Every single set is a gamble and every set. So that's how I view it. And this is why I don't go to no more casinos because I'm playing this high slot gamble game uh, with every magic set where it's like, how much do you order? How much do you not order? And, and it's not always super obvious because the price point, they might be like, okay, marching machines, we're gonna charge you more than, uh, than we would charge you as a percentage of profit for, let's say marching machines has 15% margins and they gave you Commander Masters at 20% margins. Even if you like March of the Machines, that 5% Delta really does come into play. So now you're looking at both of them when in fact you thought you would just be buying March of the Machines because that's the set that you wanted to buy or Commander Masters if the margins are different. It's a gamble. Every set is a gamble. Um, some sets are really fun to open. I had a blast opening uh, Brothers War with the Transformers because I like Transformers and I thought it was kind of interesting. Uh, I did not have fun opening Double Masters. In fact, we are still opening Double Masters as of this video. We still have, I don't know how I can do this. I think now that I know, um, I'm going to try, to, I'm probably not gonna upload too much. Uh, maybe we have another like two months, like I'm not kidding when I mean like we have like legitimately probably 200 videos of just like two minutes of me opening two packs. I'm not sure how to uh, address that because I've been doing it. And it's not that I've been doing it very long. These pack openings you've been watching, they've uh, been filmed all in like one day, probably four months ago, four or five months ago. And it's just been, <laughs> that's why we're still on Crown Zenith because that was when Crown Zenith released. That was the release date of Crown Zenith and we're still going. And all that product was open on release date. 
So um, if you ever want to open a store, please slap yourself and say no. It's not worth the headache. It's not worth the finance. For me, it's a little different. I have a gam. I had a gambling problem. This solved my gambling problem. Um, I play a lot of blackjack. I play a lot of poker. I used to play a lot of poker. A lot. I even play slides. Slots are terrible. Like it, it, it's such a problem that like I'm in the slot machine and like wondering why am I losing money on a slot machine? It's like obvious, you know, like you look around everyone's like, I used to go to Las Vegas once a year uh, with friends or even by myself. Sometimes I just like go by myself and then you, then it gets out of control. I mean, you're, I'm not the type of person who, when you go to Las Vegas, I'm not going for dinners or for shows. I'm going there just to straight up gamble until I pass out. And then I go to the hotel room, rest up, you know, whatever it is, whenever it is. And then I, you know, put the do not disturb because I don't want them to do clean the room. There's been like times where I've played so much, um, especially if poker, if you, if there is a good poker game and it goes late until night, I'm not going to be the one who breaks the poker game. I tell you this, I am never the one who breaks the poker game. The poker break, game breaks is because other people got tired, not because of me. So this solved my problem of being a gambler um, and in many aspects it is gambling, but it's controlled gambling. I don't know what the F my cat is doing, but uh, I will investigate now. So is this something that you want to do? No. Is this something that I would ever recommend anyone doing? No. But uh, for me personally, uh, it works out because I lose more, I lose less money gambling. I lose less money doing this store nonsense than I do uh, at the casino tables. And then the casino tables, like the way I justify it is I spend my extra hobby time. I quote, it's not even a side hustle. A side hustle indicates it makes money, right? This does not make money. I just view it as, okay, it's keeping me out of trouble and it, it has. When you have a store, you can't go to Las Vegas. When you have a store, you can't go to the casino every weekend. Like you're too busy worrying about your store going bankrupt every day. It's, it's crazy. Anyway, hi guys.